culture and the consistency of that culture from generation to generation to generation. That's a roadmap. And once you have that roadmap in place, you have that level of consistency in place, everything follows. Uh, there's luck. We didn't talk about luck. You got to have luck to have multiple legacy business, you know. We talked about Bill and I not being in the same plane or the same car. Uh, thing, bad things can happen, right? Health, this and that. So we've been very lucky, we've been very fortunate, but we've been very disciplined as a company all the way from our founder from the very beginning. Some way, somehow, we made it happen. But I'd say the one big piece of secret sauce is our founder's um, statement about building well and serving better. We've used that tagline for our history. And now we, we've taken that tagline and we've updated it to improving the way things move. It's not only the way we, our people and our, and our operations uh, deal on a daily basis, it's how they deal in the community. It's all connected to our culture. And so we're all about our health and improving the way things move. But when you think about our new tagline, everything we build goes into something that helps improve the way that moves. So there's consistency in what we're saying we're about. And uh, we've tried to, tried to live that each and every day. Well, I think it's one of the things that makes us very unique. So yeah, we do talk about it in the marketplace. Uh, most of the markets that we serve, people are familiar with the Betts legacy and the Betts history is something that we're very, very proud of. Our employees talk about it, primarily from a sales and marketing standpoint. It's in our literature. Um, it's kind of in our DNA and our blood. You know, it's not just about bets, but it's, it's connecting the name bets to our history and our roadmap, our model, who we are as a company, who we are as people in high school. I started working about the same age as Bill, um, a little different. I didn't work every Saturday. My dad worked six days a week, every week, 365. We didn't vacation a lot as a family because we couldn't afford to and he had to be there. He wore tons of hats just like I did. And you know, when you're a family business and you're growing and you know, you have, uh, you know, you have to pay attention. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. And so um, my dad would take me over even as a three, four, five year old boy to the plant in San Francisco. And you know, I got, a, I got to ride on the forklift with the guys in the shop and I, I became, you know, really familiar with it and loved what I saw. And, I like the legacy, I like the history, and uh, so I continued through high school working. Uh, certainly in college, I had some other uh, jobs outside of Betts, but it was right after college when I joined Betts. And looking back, if there was anything that I would do differently, I would have done what Bill has done, and that's go out and get that additional really valuable work experience. I kind of was raised a little bit on the school of hard knocks. Um, it was a different business then, Culturally, it was very much a top-down culture. That was something that I wanted to change when I came in. I realized it was old school, and I realized our people wanted more than a top-down culture. So I tried to transition the business uh, and change the culture that way, and Bill has just taken it uh, leaps and bounds beyond. That's something, again, where Bill and I are very aligned. It's about, it's about our people. It's not about us. Absolutely. You know, we have a lot of trusted advisors. You have to, uh, to sustain your business. You, you should not try to go it alone. And Bill and I uh, also focus on continuous improvement. We try all our best to lead by example. I've been uh, a member of the Vistage organization for now 15 years. And the Vistage is a CEO uh, group where it's the largest CEO organization in the world with over, uh, I think, 20,000 members. And we have groups that, group meetings. And I view Vistage as an outside board of directors. We meet monthly, I have a chair, he comes. And uh, you know, it's about being open and, and sharing uh, what's going on and listening to other people and getting good input from other people. You know, our board at Betts is uh, small. It's really uh, just me, Bill, our CFO, and my brother-in-law. And so having those outside groups and then the outside advisors that we can talk to and share ideas and be strategic so that when we do meet as a board, um, you know, we can be very uh, uh, open and succinct and clear, uh, transparent, uh, and, and then take what we've learned outside and share that with our people inside. 
We're also very focused on our key executives to do the same thing. How are they growing uh, continually? Because if you don't focus on that, you can become stale. So I encourage anybody that's running a family business, don't become stale. Continue education, continue uh, building relationships, and communication, 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 and listening, listening, listening.